Hi, everybody. The Association Playbook is live today. I've got our Director of Communications, Kim Gillum, with us. And you know what? We're going to do, we're going to do some podcast recording today. So we said, let's just show people how we do it. Yeah. Because what, what this enables, we get a lot of questions about it. Mm -hmm. And I want to show you really how easy it is. Yes. I mean, it really is easy. So first of all, the methodology. So what happens is Kim and I get together mm -hmm. once every six weeks, or six so. weeks right. and we just have a free flow on uh, things that are happening within the company, mm -hmm. trends that we're seeing in the association world, and you're recording those. Right. Mm -hmm. And then we break them down basically in, into, 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 into blogs. blogs. Correct. And then we repurpose that and turn them into podcasts. Right. So. That's great. Then what we'll do is we'll take, this is a blog, has it been published yet, most of these? Yes, most of those have all been published. So we've already published these on our website, mm -hmm. and on LinkedIn, yes. and maybe on Medium, mm -hmm. even. Exactly. And then we'll take it, and then we will record a podcast, and maybe this it, within the week or mm -hmm. same few days, right. I'll do a Facebook Live on it. Mm -hmm. right. So in effect, we take that, and we reconstitute it. It's a circular effort right there. Because we know that if they don't if they don't see it the first time, mm -hmm. then it's it's new to them when they see it the second time. Exactly. Or we also see people that had preferred methods of downloading our content. Right. We think this, but not absolutely certain. Mm -hmm. The people that read the newsletter are different than the people that listen to the podcast. Correct. And are different than maybe engage us in LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. They had preferred methods. That's right. That's right. But this way we're hitting all the bases. We're hitting all of our uh, consumers of our content. So it's been really effective for us. Tell, tell us about, okay, tell us about kind of budget. <laughs> this sure. is our worldwide <laughs> studio. Yes, it is. Yeah. This is our podcasting room. This is where the magic happens. Um, about a year and a half ago, we had a gentleman named Chris Stemp who was phenomenal. Yeah. Who came in and he set us up with the, you know, everything we needed to basically launch our podcast. Um, we start off with a recording uh, program called Audacity, and that's where we record and edit every single episode. I then upload those to um, something called Libsyn, which actually it's our hosting site. Yeah. And um, from Libsyn, we put it up to iTunes turn it right back around, we connect it to our website, we publish it on our website, people can download it, they can subscribe you know, to iTunes, you know, we love that. And um, How much did that cost for the, all that software? Do you remember? I don't, but I don't think it's more than like, I don't know, $100? I mean, oh, it, was a yeah. very, it was a very this, small investment. This is less than total mic, stand, oh, yes. less than a thousand bucks. Oh, easily. For sure. I mean, I think our mic system probably cost $38. I mean, we were really and amazed. And it, show, it, may, it may show. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't but, think so. I think but, the recording's great. But the, the key is to generate the content. Right. Not the, I mean, all of this stuff is so low budget, mm -hmm. uh, you can really go to scale mm -hmm. pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. So right. should we show them how we do it? Let's do it. All right. So I'm, uh, I'm in my Audacity uh, program, and JP's got a script in front of him, and we're going to go. And so now you get a free podcast, too. There you go. There we go. <laughs> What's the title? The, the title of this is Picking Up Speed in Business. Great. Okay. One, two... Hey, thanks for listening to this Association Playbook. I'm JP Murray. You know, we always talk about how speed kills in sports. If you're faster, well, it's a really good bet that you're going to be better. And now more than ever before, speed is having an incredible impact on our businesses. And so let me share you a quick story to make a point. And by the way, it happens to be true, so that, that makes it maybe even more interesting. In Q4 of 2016, the Murray Company had twice as many sales as we did in Q4 of 2015. Over the course of that time, we had taken our game to the next level by publishing more content than ever before. In fact, we tripled the amount we push through social media each week. We produce a podcast, stream live video, post to YouTube, publish blogs, and deliver an e-newsletter every single week. 
Not to mention that we repost varied content on our platform three times a day. And our efforts are really paying off. Today, when we meet potential clients on our consulting or sales services, the amazing thing is they already know who we are and what we do. Now more than ever before in the history of our company. That's because people have listened to our podcasts and read our blogs before I've ever even walked through the door. Our strategy has been built to build awareness around the company in every way this new internet has to offer. As our brand grows, our sales cycle has become shorter, primarily because we don't expend a lot of time on the sales process on who we are and what we do. People know about us. Our prospects already know this. In fact, now they're calling us because of what they see from our content. Our consistent and strategic presence on social media has led to an unprecedented business growth, an uptick on projects because the prospects are now picking us instead of us cold calling them and trying to get referrals. We're doing business faster and better. So how does this apply to your association? Well, you know, can you do a 30-day onboarding process and reduce it to 15? Your weekly newsletter which features seven or eight stories. Can it run three times a week fit featuring three stories on each issue? Frequency is absolutely better. And have you considered the power of Facebook Live? This streaming is a powerful tool to boost messaging on everything your organization has to offer. What are you doing to build awareness right now? So my challenge to you is this. Take some of your key projects and perform a little bit of a GE workout like Jack Welch used to do at General Electric. Review your process, find the kinks, the potholes, the inefficiencies, and start shortening up the cycle. If you do this, you're going to get faster and ultimately better. Also, you really need to fly around the ball by doubling the work that you do because you're faster. Speed kills in sports but it's also proven to be a killer method in upping our game in business as well. Hey, if you have any questions, please email me at jp at murraycompany.com. Thanks for listening. All right. That's how you do a podcast. So then what we'll do is we're going to do seven of these today. Hope, right. hope sometimes I run out of gas. Right. It takes about an hour. It <clears> takes about, about an hour. And then we start publishing, reposting, mm -hmm. and that's how you do it. That's how you do it. And uh, pretty easy, folks. Get in there. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What's the worst thing that can happen? Exactly. No, Nobody's going to watch. Has anything which bad may have happened, happened today. <laughs> I don't know. Has anything bad happened to us? Nothing's bad. Nope. No. They may be laughing, <laughs> but not in our faces. Not in our faces, right? Hey, okay. thanks for watching this Facebook Live. On behalf of Kim Gillum, I'm J.P. Murray. Appreciate you watching. Thank you.